Yeah, but I'm going to start with just the atmosphere in, in the arena in that fourth quarter and the fans and what it's like. I mean, it's the first time feeling it, but what it's like to be a part of that when you and Jetty are the ones that are, you know, starting all the momentum. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Jetty had told you after the game that, you know, the, the, the fans, when they, you know, when we get on a run like that, it's just like, contagious infectious uh, like whatever you want to call it we just we feed off that so much and it's so fun uh in moments like that like it can be anybody uh, jetty's had a number of times like that throughout the season myself included just our team going on massive runs but in the way that we came back tonight after <clears throat> excuse me not playing a great first half that was a lot of fun that felt like Cavs basketball even with dg out uh with lowry out um, you know, we just had to find a way coming back home to pick it back up. And it was, you know, amazing thing to see how we were sharing the basketball. And it was just, you know, for, kind of free flowing us playing together and just us, you know, dictating, you know, everything we did on the offensive end was, was you know, predicated by getting the stops on the defensive end. I thought we did a great job. At one point, I think I literally lost track of the amount of points that you and Jetty were just... <laughs> So, by the way, so did we. Yeah, no. And, and when Rick, we were saying, like, when, when uh, Coach Carlisle called the timeout, we're like, man, thank God. I mean, because we were, we were just – we were every possession just, I mean, pushing it on the offensive end, making sure that we were setting our defense. And not to say we don't typically do that, but, you know, we knew that we had to have a, a you know, kind of a point of emphasis to, to – you know, make a stop, uh, you know, stop them from playing downhill, you know, get into the lane, contest their shots, take charges, do whatever we needed to do to, you know, kind of speed the game up and, and you know, dictate the pace on the offensive end. And we did that. And it was, I mean, this guy will tell you so much fun um, in that second half and in that fourth quarter. At one point, I was like, okay, like, well, I think we're going to need some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. That's, I mean, it was, we were looking at each other and like, JB, can I call another timeout so we can have a little bit more? Uh, just finding the symmetry also with Rondo. I mean, yeah. he seemed like tonight was kind of a night where he came out, fit in, knew where, you know, this more of the spots of where you like the basketball, those yeah. types of things. Obviously, he had a great game. What did you see with working with uh, him? Uh, he was just, again, like in himself went out there and, you know, he knew that we needed his veteran leadership and, and, and presence tonight. Um, and I'll say it again, especially in that second half and, you know, for him to dish out 12 assists, I mean, shot over 50% from the, from the floor, got to the free throw line a number of times. I mean, he did everything that, you know, we needed in order to, to win the game. And it, it, it really all started with him because he got us into our spots. He made big plays and, you know, whether it be myself or Jetty or uh, J.A. or anybody that was in there with us, you know, he made it a point of emphasis to get us in our spots and uh, play you know, our brand of basketball. I think it was, you know, if, if, you know, you look at anybody who was like, you know, the dark horse MVP of the night, it was him. Uh, Ashley Massack, Cleveland.com. Uh, well, I think it was the last shot on that 19 0 run where Kevin G did the behind the back no look past the Jetty. I guess JB was joking that they let Kevin Love do Kevin Love things. I just, just if you take me through that that play from your point. I, I didn't even know if anybody was there. I was like, I'm just going to throw it behind the back. <laughs> no, no. I, I'll just say this uh, before I let uh, Jetty speak is that, no, just again, it was, it was dough. It was the way uh, Rado was coming down and you know, I could kind of sense that they were going to pick me up after hitting a couple, but also knowing, you know, Jetty was hot, so they had to pick their poison. And, you know, as soon as he let it go, I thought, okay, I'm stepping up, just want to keep that that going into the corner. Jetty took his time and knocked down another big one. But, uh, you know, that was a, a, a big-time back-breaking play. Um, you know, I know they got the photos to, to prove how uh, ecstatic and, and, you know, crazy and, and excited we were going. I know at one point – I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Like, Jenny and I chest bump, and then I, I bump him again, and then here comes Isaac just yeah, Isaac rounding the perimeter. <laughs> so, like, you know, those are just the moments that 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 we live for. But honestly, if it if it weren't for like, if it weren't for the crowd going wild, you know, that, that that's what it's all about. That's we just feed off that and have and have so much fun uh, playing in front of this crowd. This home crowd is so fun. Yeah, I mean, that was a it was a crazy moment. Actually, he had. He had one more. It was in the first quarter between the legs when he throws it, but, <laughs> I, right. but I couldn't catch it. I mean, that was a that was a great pass. But no, I mean, you know, that by that time we're flowing like everybody was in that, That's you know, cool. in a great mood. Like the fans mm -hmm. as a team, like we're playing, we're sharing the basketball. And then, I mean, I think that was a 
that was you know the great play just to close out that you know 19 um run but i mean after that shot i mean the fans and like kayla was saying before like you know we're really happy for each other like whoever played yep. great like we're supporting each other and you know that's that's really important i think that's what really make us a great team mm -hmm. and um you know we're we're playing for one for each other and you know we're not, we're not just in a great mood we're playing great basketball and we're flowing at the time and I know this is like kind of a strange time of year always when you're right before the trade deadline and everything like that and things can change and you guys on top of that are down so many key pieces mm -hmm, right yeah. now due to injuries. I guess like to get your largest comeback win at this stage of the season, like what does it say about the group that you guys have? I'll just say we're a gritty team. Uh, as Jetty said, we're, we, I've always been the next man up. I know a lot of people talk about that, but I think in what Jetty just said, like our belief system in, in, in one another and us, you know, not only celebrating each other, riding the hot hand and, and making the extra pass, making sure we're, we're doing right by the next teammate, not wanting to let the other guy down. I think, you know, we, we knew that, and JB said it like at halftime, we, we lay an egg. We, we got to go out there and be ourselves. Nobody's going to feel sorry for us when we have bodies out. Um, you know, we understand at this point in the season, everybody's kind of nicked up, banged up a bit, but uh, we have to play better. And I thought that we rose to the occasion and, and uh, you know, played a better second half and absolutely a better uh, a fourth quarter to, to close out the game. Yeah. Conversely, as I um, for both you guys, that first quarter, um, Jimmy was saying that while in a sense it was quarter to calm you guys down, but build you guys up as well for like looks you guys were getting, they just weren't going in. Um, I guess kind of sort of like taking through like what that was like, what were you guys saying to each other? What was JB saying in the sense of like trying to build you guys up of like- Oh, it's on what he said halftime. Yeah. <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> no. It's on you. I mean, no, I think uh, at one point, like we're looking at each other at one point, we knew that we we're going to come back because like, I think uh, we're fine the shot, just we could knock him down, especially myself. You know, I think I was over seven the first half, but uh, you know, and that's actually what a, uh, team came up you know they trusted me they gave me the ball and you know I uh, I knocked him down but I think that we knew that that was not us we knew that that's not our best basketball that we have to play better especially in front of the you know in front of the crowd like Sunday great game like we knew that we have to step up and I think that the way we started at third quarter and then you know I think the rest just uh came with it but um yeah I mean it happens but it's really important like on this day and when we're not playing great it's really important to win a game. And uh, I think that we did a hell of a job in terms of, you know, like, come back. Like JB says, sometimes you just got to win ugly. We got to win ugly right now. Is it like a mentality switch sort of like, you know, like kind of working through those when, those moments when shots aren't going down, like nothing's going working that you're sort of like, it's just like a mentality. For like sure. Kind of yeah. And J.A. was saying at halftime too, our lockers are near each other. So we were just saying, we got to find a way to just manufacture energy. And we're flat in the first half. We just, could make a shot um, in, in some ways, letting that uh, affect our, our defense. But again, we, we found, you know, whatever that, that, that energy was in that, that second half and just continue to move the ball, get stops and, you know, just hit ahead and play for the next man. And, you know, those shots start falling with us and our energy start picking up, got the crowd into it and fed off of that. Well, we're on the right now, half of the season. Yeah, Jetty. Nobody's had that many points in a quarter since LeBron in 2018. Are you expecting a text from him? On <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I didn't even know like what's going on at that point. But uh, obviously, you know, it's you know, it's a good thing. But I think the better thing is that we got to win. And uh, really, you know, I think everybody enjoyed tonight. I enjoyed it, and so you know, cool. and uh, we're gonna enjoy it tonight too. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just you know, where you guys stand pulling this off, you know, trade deadline things, just how confident do you feel about those Kobe and the, where you are, you know, at this point? Yeah, I mean, Kobe's done an amazing job. Um, JB, our, our front office, everybody's put us in a place to, <clears throat> to win and, and, and to win now. So, but again, we, we know that we have a lot to prove. We want to continue to, to, to gain respect in this league and, know that we haven't arrived yet you know we we still have a, a lot of work to do we have to get a lot better we have to get guys back uh, but that's what is the beauty of this team we just we just want to work we just want to come into work put our time in and win basketball games but uh, we all play for one another um, you know in, in some ways we can't wait till that that trade deadline passes so we 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 know that we just have the the unit that we have but again you got to tip your hat to to what Kobe and, and the front office has done because they put us in a great position to grow together and, and win. Uh, 
Hello guys, Chris Richard, this is Dene Chris. Congratulations on the win, first of all. Uh, Kevin, after the, uh, games like this, what did you learn about your team? Um, just that, you know, we continue to, to, to be resilient. Um, you know, the, there's been games where, you know, we've had uncharacteristic losses or halves or quarters, but, you know, we never let that, you know, deter us from our goal. And that's to, you know, win basketball games, stay present and understand like, you know, whatever happened, good or bad, we just have to, you know, have a quick memory and leave it behind us. And I feel like we're, we're that type of a team. I always talk about our belief system. You know, this team doesn't have any fear because um, we trust in one another. And uh, like JB always says on the other side of that fear, once you get past it is freedom. And I think our team plays free. When we play free, we play for each other. We give ourselves a chance to win every single night because we play extremely hard, we defend, and we let it ride on the offensive end. So I think it's a, a, a beautiful brand of basketball. And again, um, you know, we just want to continue to grow together and play with one another. And for you, Chedi, the confidence that uh, the your teammates and the coaching staff have to you, what it means for you about your game? I mean, uh, obviously, it's you know, it's very important. And not just today. I think uh, they've been show showing that since the beginning of the year. And, you know, I really do appreciate that. And uh, as a team and as a coaching staff, I know that they do believe in me and I know what they're expecting from me. I know my role. So that's why, you know, when I, whenever I step on a court, I, I try to do my best. So, um, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just happy, you know, that, you know, I have, I have a role. I know what I, what I, what I supposed to do. And, you know, I'm going to just come out every, every night and do my best. Thank you very much. Both of you.